Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Deontay Burton, host of Changing Lab. Welcome back to our Business 101 series, where today we'll be talking about break-even point. And we start talking about break-even point, this is probably one of the most important uh, business ratios that you need to know, especially with starting your business up. And what break-even point talks about is how many units that a business needs to create to break even, to pretty much cover costs. This is so important because a lot of times people get in business and they start thinking about arbitrary prices that they want to charge for their product, but they don't think about the actual cost that they have to operate their business, being the overhead, being rent, utilities, payroll, things like that. And looking at in terms of for each one of these units that they sell, how many do they have to sell to just cover the basic cost, not take any profit, but just a break even. That's what we get our term break even point. We look at the definition of break-even point. We look at it being break-even uh, equals fixed cost divided by contribution margin. Now, listen, I'm not going to be throwing all these crazy terms at you to confuse you. I'm going to explain it to you and also give you an opportunity to get more information from me later on after the video. Okay, and we look at uh, when you look at fixed costs. What are your fixed costs? Your fixed costs are pretty much we look at uh, again being those things that are never going to change: your rent, utilities payroll, insurance, those are always going to stay the same. So those are pretty much a fixed cost, no matter what's going to happen during the month. We look at contribution margin. Contribution margin is defined as your price minus your unit cost. So what do we say is the unit cost, Deontay? We know price being what we're going to sell the product for. The unit cost is the cost that it takes to make each unit. So say, well, in this definition, we're going to talk about cakes. In order to make a cake, we're going to say that we're selling cakes for $25, but when we look at the ingredients, the direct ingredients that go into the cake, the batter portion, you know, the icing and stuff, we're going to look at that being having a unit cost per cake of being $10. So when we look at it in terms of our contribution margin definition, uh, $25 minus 10 gives 15. That's our contribution margin. Okay, so we're ready to rock and roll. So we look back at our definition uh, being for the break-even analysis. We know our fixed cost for the rent, utilities, payroll, insurance is $1,500. To start that formula, we divide the uh, unit cost into those fixed costs. I mean, the contribution mark to those fixed costs, where $1,500 divided by 15, but remember that 15 is the contribution margin, and it gives us 100 units or 100 cakes. So what does that tell us again? For us to break even each month, we have to make sell, rather, 100 cakes. Why is it so important? From the get-go, you'll know right then and now. Can I even sell 100 cakes in this particular location with all the, you know, in terms of the market is going to purchase it? Do I have the firepower or manpower to even make this kind of, uh, make this kind of unit push? That's why this is so important. You're not praying on it. You ain't hoping on it. You ain't thinking on it. You know right then and now. In order for you to break even, you have to uh, uh, sell 100 cakes. A couple adjustments can be made here and there. What do I mean by that, Deontay? What do you mean by that, Deontay? Well, you can always increase the price, whereas when you increase it, that's going to uh, uh, increase your contribution margin. And also, by increasing your contribution your contribution margin, that can go from 15 to 20 bucks. And after you've done that, that means what? You have to sell less cakes. But it still goes back to it again. Can you sell cakes at a higher price depending on the particular market you're in? Okay? Also, you may go to a different vendor in terms of the icing or batter and maybe decrease the unit cost. Okay, again, that can increase your contribution margin where you have to uh, make uh, sell less cakes in order to break even. So there are some adjustments you, you can make to it, but you need this information up front so you can realistically see what you have to do to just function on a monthly basis with your business. Again, this is Deontay Burton, host of Change Live. I'm also the owner of Majestic Business Services. And if you want to get further in-depth information of this, I want you to go to our website, www.majesticbiz.com. Scroll down, book an appointment. Again, we can do our appointments in person, over the phone, or virtually, any way you're comfortable with. And I can give you more information on uh, the break-even analysis and other, kind, other business financial ratios in regards to your entrepreneurship or business aspirations. Uh, make sure you also go to our, our weekly YouTube show, Change the Live, hosted by yours truly, Deontay Burton. Again, this is our Business 101 series, where we'll break it even analysis. Take care, and I look forward to hearing from you guys.